Well, today's video I've been looking forward to making for a while now. Um, and it's something that I have been collecting over the years and something that I use on a daily basis. So what I'm talking about is my EDC multi-tools, but particularly uh, the micro, or, uh, or at least the smaller uh, options that are out there that I've, I've got my hands on. So stay tuned and I'll take you through more. And welcome to ST Reviews and my name is Sash. My wife seems to think that I probably have too many of these and there's no need because you can only use one at a time or you can only carry one at a time. Well, I beg to differ. Uh, we love our outdoors. I'm an avid camper. Um, so I tend to have these in my pocket or on my belt just to come in handy. Nine out of 10, I'll probably open a beer bottle or fix a screw or something, you know, little, but at the end of the day, I feel like I'm prepared. Um, the other thing that I'm also, I would say passionate about is EDC style of pocket knives. But I'm gonna leave that as a separate video because otherwise this, is, this video is gonna go on for about an hour. There's too much to go through. So without further ado, let's have a look at what I'm talking about today. So as you can see, there is a fair few to get through today. And um, there is a, a few functions in each one of them. So I wanna go through them as quickly as possible because I think each individually would have had a lot of reviews on YouTube. Um, but today I don't wanna go into too much in-depth detail, but more, more, I guess, my experience with them, what I like and don't like about them, and just some basic uh, function set that's available in each one of those. So. Let's get started with no particular order, but you know what? I might start from right and work my way, well, from, <laughs> I should say, from my uh, Swiss Army knife and work my way back to the other side. So what you're looking at here is probably my oldest knife uh, that I own. Well, I should say a multi-tool, it's not a knife. Um, it's the Victorinox Camper Swiss Army knife. Now, I purchased this from Switzerland uh, many, many years, well, 2004. Uh, we're now 2022, and I've had it ever since, and it's still like brand new. Um, and it's been one of these knives that I've kept more from, I suppose, sentimental value than anything else. Uh, but I intend to pass this on to my son or my daughter, whoever wants it <laughs> one day, uh, because it's still very well looked after. So what you've got here is, um, it's an essential tool that you can saw wood with it or cut tent ropes or using a camping trips and so forth. It's got 13 functions. Um, so if I go through them very quickly, you've got your, your large blade. Um, you then here have a bottle opener. Uh, what we've we got here, or oh, actually, and a can opener, I suppose, all in one. It also has a smaller uh, blade as well. Then you've got, goodness me, they've got a very, very strong mechanism and because I'm not opening them all the way, it sort of jars that up a little bit. Uh, so you've got a can opener, you've got a bottle opener, flatted screwdriver on it. I'm going to close them so I don't lose any fingers in the process. You've got the corkscrew. Now I can tell you this is coming very, very handy. And one reason is none of my other multi-tools has it. So this gets used a fair bit uh, when it or else fails. Um, it also have, I don't even know what this is to be honest with you, I've never really used it. Um, so I'm not even gonna pretend to know what it is, but I dare say it's probably a, some sort of a punch. Um, anyway, that doesn't get used much. Uh, then you've got on one side a pair of very, very useful tweezers for taking out splinters and picking up fine bits and pieces. And on the other side, a toothpick, which I've never used also. Um, and, a, and a key ring up the top so you can, well, I personally wouldn't hang this off my keys because it's way too big and too thick, but nevertheless, the option is there. So, it, each, it's about 9.1 uh, centimeters in length. Um, 
If I was to tell you all the features, it's got the large blade, small blade, a can opener, a screwdriver, a three mil, a bottle opener, a six mil screwdriver, a wire stripper, a reamer, punch, and, and sewing owl, corkscrew, wood saw, toothpick, tweezers, and so forth. Now, I didn't show you, um, where is it? Give me one second. Tucked in there is the trust. This is pretty cool, actually. There it is. Is the wood saw. This thing is pretty cool. It's actually, that's a good way to lose your finger. It's actually a quite a decent size um, saw. Um, as you can see, it's, you know, it's probably the, the full, well it is, it's the full length of the, um, of the knife, of the tool I should say. Um, now, granted, I've never cut any wood with, with it. Um, it's still like new, but it does exist. So uh, once again, that's probably the only multiple that I've got that's got a wood saw on it anyway. Um, one thing that does get used a lot, and I absolutely love, is this, um, is this large blade knife. I don't know if you can see here the graving it says officer swiss um, and victorinox switzerland stainless rust something or other this knife uh, gets used a lot uh, it has been over the years i've never sharpened it um, and it's still quite uh, quite sharp and it's a good thick uh, blade and uh, very very solid. The only thing with these knives that you gotta be careful is it does not have a locking mechanism. So, you know, if you're using it and you apply a bit of pressure, uh, the spring is quite strong. So if that was, you know, if you were to put something there, um, it does close pretty hard. Um, that's a good way to lose uh, body part. Next on the list is the Gerber Vice. I was on the uh, lookout for a tiny multi-tool, uh, something that I can hang up my keys. And I grabbed this one first. I uh, picked it up from a local hardware store here in Melbourne, um, AKA Bunnings. Um, and it was quite cheap, it was about $28. Uh, and when I got it, I had you know a few bits and pieces in mind, um, but I never really fell in love with it. Actually, I don't think I've ever used it. It's borderline, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, if I just zoom in just slightly, as you can see, the I think the quality uh, is not not there. Um, it is very, very. It looks like it's someone quickly made it and rushed out. Um, but even when I opened it, it was all sort of banged up and scratched, and it's not a big deal. I mean, it's going to get used, but just the finish I wasn't happy with. Um, in theory, it's got 10 tools and they're outboard components, so you don't have to open it in order to use it. And here are some of the, uh, some of the components of it. And if I open them quickly, I might just uh, zoom out slightly. Uh, you've got the blade, which this part I do like, because the, the blade, it is quite, um, quite sharp and quite wide, so it's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty useful, especially the way it curves at the top. Uh, it's a nice blade anyway. Um, it comes with a little serrated edge blade, which is great if you're gonna cut rope and, and so forth. Um, and then on the other side, let's cover this up, or just above it, by the way, if you haven't noticed, it does have a little a key ring uh, that you can use. On the other side, it's got the they're very hard to take out. You've got a small flathead screwdriver. Uh, it's very small. It looks like a nail cleaner, but anyway. Then on the other side, actually that's the, the you've got a, another flathead screwdriver and, my goodness me, it's so hard to push out. You've got a bottle opener, which I haven't used, um, and it doesn't look, doesn't look like I'm going to use it. Um, and then you've got on the other side here, these are very difficult to open. It's 
quite annoying actually because you've got to put a lot of force into opening and closing them. Um, you've got uh, a Phillips head screwdriver and a file here as well on both sides. So, I don't know, it's, it is what it is. Once you open it, you have access to the stand, the needle pliers, and then what they refer to as standard pliers inside with the wire cutters at the back. Um, yeah, there's not much I can say about it, to be honest. I really, I'm not sure it will do the job, it'll be practical. I just, if I look at it, if I compare it to all, some of my other tools, uh, multi tools I've got in hand, this will not be the one that I go for first. Uh, that's for certain. So, anyway, that's just my thoughts on this particular tool. Um, yeah, not, not a, not a, not a, big fan whatsoever. Um, so when I decided that um, the vice wasn't the one for me, what did I do? I went out and got another Gerber tool. Now this one came up to be very popular um, on, on YouTube and online and so forth. And I thought, well, maybe this is gonna be better. This is the Gerber Dime, um, a very lightweight and small unit. And again, like the, uh, the previous one, it is uh, butterfly open and it's got spring-loaded uh, drawers on it and you can hang it in a keychain. Now, what I really liked about this one when I got it, ta-da, is the size. So there's um, just on one finger, I'm holding it and camera doesn't like to focus on it because it's being difficult, but as you can see, it is tiny. It is tiny, there's my whole finger under it. Um, it is such a cute little uh, little tool, and it's got this stealth look about it, uh, which I also like. So when you hang it off your keys, it actually doesn't stand out. It doesn't look like you're carrying a multi-tool, it just looks like a, I don't know, maybe a uh, remote control for something or other from a distance. Um, for those that are not you know, familiar with multi-tools, I suppose. And once again, when I took this out of the package, you had all these uh, scratches on it, which I like my tools to be new, or look new at least when I buy them. Then after what I do with them, it's up to me. But um, anyway, that was just a slight, you know, little observation. And the first thing you notice about this tool before I even open it, you've got your keychain uh, keyring on one side, and you've got the permanent uh, bottle opener that that stays well fixed basically. Uh, however, if I compare this to the the vice previously, what am I doing? Uh, where is the bottle opener here? Uh, not that I've tested it. See so again, you got to if I can open a stupid thing. I need a multi tool to open the multi tool. Uh, if you look at this bottle opener. Compared to that, um, I don't know. This one looks a little bit more, a little bit more solid, uh, and like it's going to get the job done quicker. What one thing that I've noticed uh, that people have done online is with this one here, they've actually hung it off the uh, uh, the bottle opener off the keys, just to make it a little bit more solid. But uh, yeah, that's not what it's designed for. The other thing you're going to notice at the start here is you can pull this out which is a little bit difficult from the bottle opener, but you do have some tweezers. They're not the biggest tweezers uh, you've seen, but uh, they are tweezers nevertheless. Just put them back in there so I don't lose them because they are pretty, pretty, pretty small. Uh, like the previous one, you can access the tools from the outside so this is definitely the mo most well-known uh, tool that's on this unit and something that gets used a lot, which is the package opener. And this was the, the I guess, the big sale ticket for me when I got it because I tend to have uh, Amazon and Australia Post come to my place on a daily basis uh, with bits and pieces that I buy to review and show uh, the rest of the world and stuff that I use. Um, and I thought, you know what, I do need a package opener. 
because well, this package is coming daily. Um, so if I had one, when I got this packet, I wouldn't have butchered it like I have here. So you got a package opener, it's uh, very, very useful and that gets used uh, a lot. This, this was actually hanging off my keys, I only took it off uh, for this review and it's still in pretty good nick. Um, then you've got a fine edge blade, uh, which, which is quite nice actually. If I just close the package opener, it is a decent uh, blade. And if you can see like that, it's quite thick and does have a nice pointy edge. I know there's a name for this blade, but I'm no expert in these things. I'm just showing you what I like and don't like about it. Um, and it is pretty sharp out of the box. Um, although it could be slightly sharper if you can be, yeah, if, if you wanted to sharpen it. So that's that. On the other side, you do have a couple of other tools. So first thing is that this one does open a lot easier. So here you've got a flathead screwdriver, which is quite standard these days. You also have a smaller flathead screwdriver and a file. Now the file is on both sides. Now I know some people have said that, you know, with this file, it's quite hard to use it. Um, and the reason it's hard because you've got this key key ring dangly bit here so it's very hard to get into it this side's not too bad um, but if I separate a little bit like this it, it is it is usable it's not you know it's not the end of the world then another very very useful tool on this are the scissors so this is something that does and will get used a lot and it's these cool little scissors, and they do the job. They've got a reasonably strong spring, believe it or not. I don't know if you can see the spring in action there, but it is a quite strong spring. And you know what? This is a reasonably thick cardboard. Cuts it up without any problem. Once you get to thicker sections though, uh, where, where you've got the, the plastic inside, it does tend to struggle, but for everyday bits and pieces, it will do the job. Uh, so that's my little dime, and I thoroughly enjoy it. And I think it, it, it looks the part too. It does look like a, a very tactical uh, piece of equipment. So then we come to the Leatherman. Now, I did get a dime, and at the same time I was umming and ahhing whether I also wanted the Leatherman uh, Micra. And I decided, well, you know what? I don't need it. That's the first thing, but I definitely do want it. Uh, so I went out and purchased that online. Uh, again, it, I think it's because, well, other YouTubers out there influenced me. See how I did that? Uh, to purchase it based on the fine reviews that it had. And also the fact that these have been around for, for, for yonks for a long time and they're still lasting with people. So I thought, you know what, in that, in that case, I'm gonna get myself one as well. So, here it is. The Leatherman Micra. And how cool is this thing? It is, once again, quite tiny. If I just compare it to the, the dime, it is just slightly bigger. Um, but if I do the, you know, on the finger test, uh, you can see that it is still a very small unit, perhaps just a little bit longer. Uh, one thing that I do enjoy about this uh, particular piece of equipment is the fact that it's got flat, smooth edges. So as you can see, it's a, it's a highly polished, well this particular one is in black, um, nice solid uh, unit like you can really feel well that it's a qual quality uh, Leatherman uh, equipment with a measuring tape that goes from one end to the other now very not that I would use this too often but it's there if you need it um, for, from a in in the hand uh, feel and quality they're actually pretty much on par. 
Uh, this feels a lot more industrial, lot, you know, like a standard, typical multi-tool, whereas this tool feels a little bit more um, ergonomic and uh, matte, so it's not as slippery uh, in the hand. So one thing you'll notice about the Leatherman Micra as opposed to the Dime is the Dime has got the external tools, so you can literally have it on your keys and start taking out the tools and using them as needed. However, with the uh, Leatherman Micra, the only thing you got to, you, you have on the outside is the, the key ring here, uh, which is great to hang off your keys and perhaps the ruler. Uh, but otherwise, in order for you to use it, you have to open it. And the opening mechanism, this is quite solid. And the first thing you'll notice, well, the obvious thing you'll notice is that most of the tools that are owned, well, all of the multi-tools that are owned have got some sort of pliers at the end of it, okay? However, with the um, Leatherman Micro, it's actually a pair of scissors. And that's what led me to uh, purchase this because I figured I've got all these other pliers, which is great, but I don't have anything with major scissors. So this is something that I'll take if I was out fishing um, to cut some quick lines and, and so forth. Uh, and it is not over, over complicated. And what I mean by that is you've got yourself a very thin, thin blade. Now, I, I've only just purchased this, so I haven't had a chance to use it properly. Um, it's got a very thin blade and it's, I don't know, I feel like the other one's a little bit more, a little bit more solid, but granted I haven't used it, so I can't comment too much. It does have a, a little uh, flathead there, or you know, a bit of a, a tool to throw things open with. You've got a file and what I would call a, a nail cleaner here. On the other end, you've got some tweezers again, uh, which are actually quite handy. I actually use this today to take out a splinter. So there you go, so they do the job. Another smaller flathead, oh actually this one here is a Phillips head, my bad. This is another Phillips head. You got flathead on one, you got Phillips head on this side. And last but not least, is even a smaller uh, flathead. Um, so look, the, the biggest, the biggest thing for this tool is obviously the scissors. And you would buy it mainly for the scissors because everything else, this knife has got a very, very sharp point. Uh, so yeah, kids, don't play with this. Um, yeah, you'd be using the scissors mostly and they do cut uh, quite nicely. Uh, actually, if I just grab the same packet that I was using before, that's going through the thick plastic uh, whereas previously the dime couldn't cut through that yet, so to give it a bit, a bit of a, a squeeze. And it is a much, much longer uh, scissors. But one thing that I did notice on the Leatherman, and I don't know if it's all, or if it's just mine, but the, it's got a lot of play in this uh, particular uh, joint of this shaft here. So if, I, if you can see here, it does have a, a lot of movement. I'm hoping it's not going to affect the way the scissors cut uh, long term or it's going to fall apart but it does uh, have a lot of play and then there's that little spring mechanism here which tensions back and forth. So the good thing is even with the play it's in hand it doesn't sort of come off that spring. So that's the Leatherman Micra. Beautiful little tool. That's definitely a keeper. Now this little bad boy, um, I lost temporarily and I was really upset because I thought, you know what, let me do my review before I lose it. It's not fair because I just purchased it and I purchased it based on uh, another compulsive buy and it, it was mainly around the colour. So it comes, it, it, what I'm talking about here is the Victorinox uh, Classic. It's another mini keychain tool that comes with this nice sort of PVC pouch, but you've got to check out the colours. Have a look at this. Ta-da! Swiss chocolate. How can you go wrong with that? It is Swiss chocolate and on the other side you can see the Swiss chocolate coming out of the wrapper, out of the foil. Uh, if I put it on my finger uh, for a similar comparison and test, as you can see it's a, it's a very very little unit. 
Uh, it does have seven functions. So you've got, mind you, the keyring is referred to as a function, which to me, well, it's a function, but not really a function. It's a, yeah, you, you hang this off the key. Uh, and just to do a quick uh, comparison with the dime and the Leatherman Micra in regards to size. That's where it sits. So it's definitely of the smaller uh, of the bunch, the smaller the bunch. Um, so what you've got here, it's a pretty pretty simple tool, um, but very effective one. To say the least, you've got these cute little scissors. So that'd be good for you know a fishing line or an envelope or you know nothing too drastic. Uh, on the other side, you've got a blade, and you've got a nail file on this side, a flathead screwdriver on that side there, and this little blade's quite sharp actually, um, but I dare say you wouldn't take too much pressure and it could break. Um, it does say here Victorinox Swiss made stainless steel. Uh, again, this will be sort of, sort of very, very basic things to use. Uh, on the bottom of it, it does have the tweezers which are actually quite solid uh, on it. And at the back of it, you've got that famous Swiss Army toothpick, which probably won't get used just like the other one. Actually, there's the camping one. There's a the chocolate one. How cute is that? Like I already, if it wasn't for the chocolate on it, I probably wouldn't have bought it because I, I don't really need it. But um, I thought, you know, I can rotate uh, keychains perhaps, you know, I can move from that one to the Gerber to the Leatherman, whatever the, the occasion is. And it does come with this little pouch, which is great if you're carrying it in your pocket, but if you're gonna hang it off your, uh, if you're gonna hang it off your keys, then it's pretty useless, because I'll probably lose it. Okay, now we're getting closer to the end. And here you've got the Leatherman Wingman. Now, this does not really qualify for a micro tool, but it's definitely of the smaller multi-tools that I own compared to some of the Gerber suspension and so forth, which are a lot bigger in size. Uh, it does come with a sheath. So if I open this one here, there is something that's quite, well, when I, when I opened it, I thought to myself, this is a well-made tool. I don't own too many Leathermans. Uh, now I have or two or three, uh, I'll get to the next one, which is gonna be last, but it is a nice quality uh, piece of equipment. And it does have a fair few bits and pieces in it. So you've got your spring action needle nose pliers, the regular pliers, the wire cutters, wire stripper, uh, the knife, scissors, package opener, can opener, bottle opener, wood and metal files, Phillips screwdriver, medium screwdriver, small screwdriver, uh, blade, then you've got the pocket clip as well but the the main thing that stands out with this one is you've got the large blade which you can, it's borderline open you can open it with one hand and it is a decent size blade to say it the least there as you can see it, it's slightly serrated at the bottom which is you know it's good if you're cutting rope and you're camping or whatnot the blade itself is very sharp and it's very solid has a bit of a thickness to it there uh, and you've got this nice uh, little section where you can put your nail in. Now the good thing with this is it is locked. So right now you can't push it, it does have a little tab there and I'm not sure if you can see the sort of that little unlocking symbol. So you push down on that and the knife shuts. And again if you want to open it with one hand you can and that's it there. On the other side there's another similar function. This time we have scissors. Once you open them, they're not really active until you give it a bit of a push. It does take, you gotta open it slightly and so you can lock up. Can we? Okay, now it's locked and these are decent scissors. So if I do my little uh, box cut test, as I have before, I do cut. Probably not as good as my micros actually, but they do the job. 
So again, these are quite handy scissors to have. Same as the knife, it does require you to press the tab in order for you to close it. And there we go. Take my word, this feels solid. Some people say that they've had ones that have got a lot of play. For me, this doesn't. Um, and it does feel like a solid piece of equipment that you can use on a regular basis. Uh, once you open it, you've got the decent sized pli pliers, uh, which again, I mean, if you look at some of the other micro tools, it's, it's chalk and cheese. Uh, this is the dime next to it. And this is what we're talking about when we're looking at uh, yeah, pliers. I mean, that looks more like pliers versus that. But again, this has its own uh, purpose. Uh, and they're a decent size needle nose and they do line up quite nicely. You got the wire cutters at the, at, at the back. On the inside, they've got little nail tabs. So you can pop your nail through to open up. There's another package opener there which again, it, it would be practical, uh, but you know, you'd have to open up the full uh, tool in order to access it, unlike the um, dime, which you can get it from the outside. Bottle opener, flatted files, etc. On the other side, same deal, you gotta put your nail through it, and you've got <clears throat> another screwdriver and a Phillips head. This is probably my favorite of the Phillips heads on the multi-tools because it is, uh, it actually resembles and it looks like a Phillips head. Once you've opened them up, they, they just require a bit of pressure to close it. So it locks into place and then once you push it, you just like, you feel like a bit of a, where the spring, I don't know if you can hear that. So it's got a decent retention there. Locks into place, push it in and off you go. That's the pocket clip, which is replaceable. I've got a couple of uh, allocate screws there. Uh, I use this tool a lot. This is this is this the one that constantly sits on my uh, belt when I'm out camping. Due to this nice little sheath that it comes with, chuck it in there, uh, put it through the belt, and it's always there. That's something that that doesn't leave my side because especially when you're setting up or packing up, there's always something you've got to cut or fix or repair. So it's a definite winner. And last but not least, this is a tool that I had to purchase because it was new, it was unique, and it was different. And it's the Leatherman uh, Free T4. And what the go with this was that most of the multi-tools these days use some sort of a spring action uh, to lock them and open them. And uh, just like I showed you earlier on the, on the wingman, that when you open a tool, there's always that some sort of a spring that pops up, press it, let it go, to unlock it. Once again, oh, just gonna get it to focus. There you go. Unlike the Leatherman Free T4, this little beast works on magnets and that's what got me really really intrigued because as a bit of a geek boy and, and a bit of a techie um, it got me wondering you know how that works and I'm very very impressed and this is something that I use often I've got a sheet that I purchased uh, separate to this but similar to the uh, wingman it does have a knife on the on the outside which you can almost open single hand handed um, and when you open it, it's got a, you can hear the clicking, but that's all magnets, uh, apparently. But when you open it, it's got this satisfying uh, locking into place. And, and it's a decent size knife. It is quite thick and quite solid, and this gets a good workout uh, around the house and the backyard and so forth. Once again, You've got the little nail tabs there to pull out the rest of the, the bits and pieces. So it's got a wood metal file, a pry tool, a package opener, a medium screwdriver, small screwdriver, spring action scissors, Phillips screwdriver, bottle opener, uh, another screwdriver, and tweezers and so forth. So <clears throat> I don't want to bore you too much with all the bits and pieces, but once again, you can have a look here what it looks like. 
there's the tweezers. It's not the easiest to get in. There's the tweezers right there. Uh, it does have a little uh, tool there that you get a, a tab that you get a press in order to close the tool so you don't accidentally cut your fingers off. And on the other side, you've got the Phillips head. Now this is, again, one of those Phillips heads that's practical and it looks like a Phillips head. So you can really get into a screw and undo it without worrying that it's gonna break. You got the bottle opener there. You've got my other next favorite part here, the scissors. Uh, once again, similar to the Leatherman uh, wingman, you do need to pop them all the way out in order for them to open up. And here we go. Let's do the, cut the box again, Sash. Very, very solid. Really good scissors. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's the Leatherman T4. This is something that I tend to carry a lot as well because it does fit in my pocket. Uh, it is it is thick. Um, you know, that's the Leatherman wingman next to it. It is a thick, uh, and I wouldn't say too bulky uh, piece of equipment, but at the same time you can sort of put it in your pocket, in your bag, in your backpack, whatever it is, just clip it in your belt and get the job done quickly as well. Uh, even with one hand a lot of the times, but not, too, not the easiest thing to have in one hand. So I'm only kidding myself, but you can't <coughs> do it. That's the Leatherman Free T4. So too many, um, well, micro slash mini multi-tools later. Uh, I just wanted to take you through some of my favorite multi-tools that I own. They're not all, just some, uh, and what I do and don't like about them. And I hope that's helped out someone out there that's looking at perhaps purchasing one or can't decide between one and the other. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, do feel free to put in the comments and if, I'll, if I can get a chance to reply, I will. Um, but look, there's some couple of good solid tools that I've taken you through today. Um, you know, perhaps I've missed something, you know, feel free to comment and let me know. Um, but there, there is a ton of them out there in the market. Uh, I tend to go to Gerber and Leatherman where I can and Victorinox here as well because they tend to be, in my opinion, sort of, well, the best of the best. Uh, I could be wrong, uh, but they're something that I enjoy and they're not too expensive. So th there's probably others out there that may be better, but they also come with a price tag. Um, these ones here, they range any anywhere from sort of that $25 mark right up to $130 so uh, you know that's sort of a, you know something what I would say that is an affordable tool that if I was to lose it I would be upset but it wouldn't be the end of the world um, as opposed to spending 300 bucks on a tool that I'll be quite upset about if I lost it so I hope this has uh, helped you out in some way I hope you've enjoyed it, uh, today's video if you did please click the like button uh, if you'd like to see more, please click the subscribe. I, I tend to do reviews on many EDC and tech and day-to-day -day, uh, things that I enjoy. So thank you for tuning in once again. My name is Sash and this is ST Reviews. Take care and brush your hair.